Good morning, everyone. I hope that stays. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Bible Art Journaling Activity and Devotional. I'm your host, Adrian O'Sal. very glad to be with you this Monday morning. Hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful weekend and a uh, great time with family and friends. And I know many of you all are church folk and you uh, get up and go to services and things and participate. And I just pray that you had a wonderful time, a revealing time. You know, if you come away from services and you're not changed and you don't, you're not impressed to do uh, anything different. Something's wrong, okay? And we have to really kind of look at that, <laughs> okay? I'm just saying. Um, we shouldn't just be going through life and there is no changes made in our our lives, no convictions. So um, I'm hoping that uh, you all um, had a wonderful... Good morning, um, Al, and good morning, Andrea. How are you? I can't wait for Friday. Woohoo! <laughs> um, anyway, I uh, I was having some trouble this morning, and I, I, you know, I said that I was not going to do Bible art journaling if I did not have, or at least not get on, um, not get on Facebook and um, do anything if if I did not feel like I had really anything to present I didn't want this to be a, a waste of time and I don't I don't want to um, get on when there is um, no word does that make sense I hope that makes sense <laughs> and so right at this moment I really don't have anything solid it's something I could do you know but um, I'm not really, really, um, real, I don't know, uh, for me, it's just not there. And so I don't want to get on, um, without, <clears throat> you know, being able to present something to you that I really feel, um, convicted about and, and stuff like that. And maybe the Lord will keep talking to me there. I, I, I will say this, there has been something that has come across my mind, but I'm not sure about it just yet. So we're going to pray. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and, um, and show you, uh, what we've been doing here with this, uh, Ola's eggs and, um, the progress made on it. And, um, maybe we'll work on this other side and I'll show you what I did to do this, um, this side. Um, I've got quite a few names of folks who've add, um, who've wanted me to add their name to it. And so we'll, we'll work on that until I'm clear on what we're going to do for this Bible art journaling thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's pray. Father, I just want to thank you so very much for another day. And um, I'm asking that you will be with us this morning for our art journaling project and what we discuss. I know you're not a God who just gets silent, that you have a word or something that you want to share with us from day to day. So, Lord, I'm asking that you reveal it and help me to trust and um, you just speak through me because these are your people and uh, these are your children. And um, we are expecting a word from you each day. So be with us, I pray. And I thank you for um, this opportunity to get on Facebook Live from day to day and to share and to do some artwork and um, consider um, your word. And Lord, I pray <clears throat> for all those who join me, um, whether live or later on, may they be blessed also by what's presented and what is said and shared. And I thank you for what you're going to do. Bless us, I pray. In Christ's name, amen. All right, so good morning, Janet. Good morning, Robert. And um, Ari is on. Good morning to you. And I don't know, you know, there's some folks who jump on. Uh, Bernard, good morning. And I, I can't um, see you or see your name or 
for whatever reason. Um, if you're on, good morning to you and thank you for being with me and tuning in this morning. All right, so um, don't forget your belt, baby. Um, my brush here is kind of stiff. I didn't really rinse it and wash it out like I was supposed to. Um, <laughs> but I used this one. This is an old brush. I used this to um, put down this matte gel. Yes, ma'am. I don't know, but there's some in the... Um... Oh, right here. You know this? Are you not looking? Right there. No, 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 no. Go closer to the Bible over there. The box. Oh. <laughs> Open your eyes, girl. Open your eyes. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway. I got a nice list growing. If you have not been with me any last week, um... We had been talking about uh, my little find um, with um, this envelope of uh, these prayer eggs that Ola wrote or made. There was construction paper and she wrote down the names of loved ones, friends and things, family. And uh, she wrote on the envelope uh, prayer eggs and I took that idea and we've looked at scriptures in the Bible and stories where individuals have prayed. And it was, I, I enjoyed um, that lesson and looking at various verses. And, um, and so I took that and decided to do a larger project <clears throat> where I would have eggs and writing down um names of family and friends and I posted something on Facebook and said if you wanted your name to be on uh, my prayer eggs um, to just say me and I will write that down so my list is growing and um, could you put my name on? <laughs> yes Ari I will do that what I've been doing is uh, the family name if that's all right with everybody <laughs> and um I um I want to make sure I spell it right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. So. Uh, my list has gotten really long, and so I well I said I was going to do the other side anyway, so that's where I am today. Okay. And um. I have I have some here, and I think I'll just go ahead until until I get clear word. <laughs> as to what we're going to do for our Bible art journaling. Um, <clears throat> this is a regular gel. Um, it's, a, it's a matte finish, so it's not shiny or anything. And um, it works like a glue, you know, and uh, I, it's very creamy. And <clears throat> hopefully I'll be able to uh, get this on here real good and... You want to work kind of fast. I'm just going to put on a, a nice thin coat, okay? And uh, we'll put our, our eggs on here. And I just I just thought it was a very nice idea and way to um, kind of uh, intercede on other folks' behalf. And it was a great lesson last week, I thought. And I hope you all enjoyed it, too. And hope you all decided to do, um, you know, <laughs> a couple of projects in your Bible. It was pretty easy to do. They weren't. I don't think that they were that difficult. And um, some of you all are artists, and you don't even know it. Okay, I'm not going to do the whole thing just yet. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and I'll I 
going to try to do my best to now see some of these I'll have to take my gel and put behind there to pull that down okay I'm going to go ahead and kind of cover as much as possible kind of spread out my <laughs> spread out put these big ones up here let's do that there we go all right so i um well like i said i hadn't really gotten a good clear idea of uh what <laughs> what the Lord wanted me to share today. And so we're gonna go ahead and do this. Bye baby, have a great day at school today. I love you. You got your lunch and all? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. And the girl is off. She had a good weekend. You know, it was her birthday Friday. And so it was a little thrown off. <laughs> party kind of too much we didn't really do much of anything but you know it was it was a good day good weekend for her I think all right I'm trying to spread these things out because they all, <laughs> these are all scraps. I just, you know, found, um, let's put this one on here. And I'm all right with the, um, you know, the space showing and stuff like that. I'm okay with it. I've got some more, some smaller ones. I took the idea to church and had the folks to write down their uh, their names too. <laughs> um, we are in the habit when we have an accessory prayer in our service, we will generally write down the names, calling them out loud, you know? And, um, and, uh, you know, again, it's not for everybody to know everybody's business or anything like that. But just we want to just corporately share. And, it, you know, the Lord says for us to share one another's burdens, huh? And um, come on, that's a big glob right there. Can you all see what I'm doing? I'm sorry. I'm not in the... Um, I wasn't in the camera good, forgive me. I'm gonna put that like right there. You have a few moments you can <laughs> lift it up. Not a lot though, you can't do that too much. <laughs> okay, I won't put that green there, I'll put it down here. I got these I got two of these greens here <laughs> and I'm gonna put them there and let's put this one over here and let's put this one right here all right and now for the the areas that are overlapping now I'll take my gel and kind of go in between and and I'll have a nice coat that I will um, you know, put on top. Okay, and it's going to hold it down and uh, be a nice
smooth. Uh oh. Seal over it. Okay. It's a good product to have. It really is. I like it. Um, most often I'm using it to cover up um, projects that I have completed. Um, I think I did. I did. This is what I'll need to work on here. <laughs> okay. Kind of messy, but it's all right. It's fine. So just a nice thin layer over over all of it and getting in the in the cracks and just sealing it down. And um, it also helps to prepare it so that you can uh, write on top of it nicely. And um, do some shading and all kinds of things. All right. And it's going to take a bit for it to dry, so while it's doing its thing, we will come back over here on this page and add some of the names. Um, I was making a list, and um, <laughs> every once in a while I'd check back, and I'd say, uh, you know, I'd see a me, me, Abby, <laughs> and uh, so... I will be happy to do that. Uh oh, come on. It's not laying down there. I don't want it to lay down. So glue will work too, you know, but um, I had this and again, you know, when you purchase these products, you don't want them to dry out. You want to use them and... <laughs> Seems like it dries awfully fast in some spots, which is good because then that allows me to, you know, be able to work on my project pretty good. Um, one of the other things that I, um, I want to mention, you know, you have to really make sure it's dry because you do not want to put pen and things on this because this is this is like glue so you know your stuff will be ruined all right so um all right i think i've got it pretty much covered okay and um i almost wish that i had not um Put, um, I did some shadowing on this on this page around the eggs, and I don't really like it so much. I I, I wish I had just left it like this, with no shadowing or anything. I don't know. Anyway, all right. I need to cut around the edges, so I'll do that, and that's an easy fix. Um, just take my scissors. And I'll just flip the page and then cut um, around there, okay? And um, good morning, um, Nadine. How are you this morning? And um, Vivian, good morning to you. That looks like a new name for me. <laughs> is this your first time joining us this morning? If it is, welcome. And thanks for being with me, Angela Nash. Good morning to you, uh, Joy. Good morning. <laughs> what am I making, Joy? I don't know if you were on last week, but I found this envelope going through my mother-in-law's things, and um, <clears throat> she had this. She had cut out some construction papered eggs and put names of. Um, family members and friends and things to pray for them and I thought it was a very nice project and so I incorporated it in my Bible for the journaling okay and um, I decided to do a bigger project 
by um, cutting out some uh, eggs with my, I used um, some, it was some paper that I had, I had, um, you know, used before. So it's like scraps, you know what I'm saying? And I just used some scrap paper. Decorative scrap paper, but you know, <laughs> anyway. And so we, um, um, we're gluing it down here on the page and then I'm adding, I'm adding people's names to them as they make requests. So, um, if you're interested in having your name on the prayer eggs, <laughs> I will do that. Okay. I will do that. Okay. So I, I do, I like that, uh. I might have to cut a little bit of that down, but we'll see because that's not sticking down here either. We'll put some more on there. It should be fine though. But anyway, let's let that dry. Yeah, I think I like that way better. I'm so tempted not um, to, um, <laughs> and I don't think that's going to come off. <laughs> you know, I do have the um, the same thing. I, I put this gel right on top of this, and then uh, it made that, um, uh, you know, it's a nice seal over my, um, over my paper and stuff, so it shouldn't fade or anything like that, you know? But um, I, I did this little shadowing on my eggs, and I don't really like it. I really wish that I had left it just like this over here. But at any rate, <laughs> I made a mistake. You like the shadowing, Ari? Okay. Oh prayer journal. I'll... Please. Oh, wow. I will add you joy. <laughs> I will. Um, well, um, no, not a prayer journal. Um, uh, this is my journal that, you know, occasionally when I, uh, decide to do something a little larger, um, you know, instead of going into my Bible, I'll come here into this journal and do some artwork, um, on it. And so I decided to do this project, <clears throat> with the eggs um, in this book, okay? So, you know, those of you that, um, you know, you're having thoughts about doing Bible art journaling, but you don't want to necessarily, um, you know, paint or color or write in your Bible, you can easily just, um, you know, pick up a journal and do it, okay? Bible art journaling is not, it, it, it's not just, <laughs> um, I'm messing with this thing over here. It's not just, um, you know, for your Bible. It, it, you're just using the text. That's, you know, that's real. We just want you to focus on the text. Focus on what God is saying. That's all. Okay. So you don't have to do it in a Bible. It's fun though. It really is. Do I love that? <laughs> Oh, good, Andrea. Good, good, good. And I hope you don't mind. I took liberties and I already put your name down here. Okay. <laughs> I already put your name on, on the page. Okay. So I've got a list and I'm using last names. Okay. Um, and uh, family names. And um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's use this. And so um, I might have to actually um, maybe add a, a few on an egg. It might not be one one family <laughs> per egg. It, uh, depending on how many more people decide to, um, you know, say me, me, you know. <laughs> All right. And so um, I'm just going to add who I have here. Uh, so, of course, I have my family's names down. I have Munson. 
and Lathan, Brazil, Mans, Butler, Porter, Rowe, Purdy, Gill, James, um, Wood, all right, and Milliken. I feel like I'm taking role at school. <laughs> Lindy or Lynn, uh, Lynn, maybe, maybe it's Lindy. Okay. Pearson Vet, I think. I'm, I hope I'm saying these names right. This is Bartholomew. All right. And, uh, um, oh, Kuwu Kuwu. I like saying that. Oh, Kuwu Kuwu. <laughs> and I have Willis and Holland and Thomas. All right. Now, that's all the eggs on this page. And so I'm going to add, uh, I have four more on my list here and I'm going to, uh, good morning, Karen. How are you this morning? Um, bleaker. That's interesting. <laughs> I like it. Uh, good morning to you. And, um, <laughs> let's see. I don't know if anybody else is on, but Joy, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you all. Uh, I'm gonna put the Cole's name down, okay? <laughs> put your name down. So we'll let that dry, and then we'll add some more names to um, our eggs, okay? And look, if I get way more, um, again, I hope you all don't mind me adding them on. Um, you know, maybe two to an egg or something, okay? <laughs> it might happen like that, I'm just saying. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry real, real good. Let's go to our Bibles. And I, uh, I think this week, and I think this is where the Lord is having me to go this week. Um, you know, sometimes I'll, um, I'll pick a theme because I think it's just a little easier for me to um, go from one story or one scripture to another. And, um, you know, sometimes, like I was saying earlier, sometimes it does not always, it, uh, it doesn't always come, um, you know, and that's okay. Or maybe the Lord just wants you to do something a little different. That's okay too. Don't get upset, you know, <laughs> don't get upset about it. Uh, and, and frustrate it just um, you push through it but um, you know again maybe it's something else that he's wanting us to to do or look at and so um, you know I'm okay with that I hope you all are okay too with um, you know just sitting under the wing and not not moving necessarily okay sometimes in life that's how ha that happens <laughs> okay all right, and we've got to learn to be comfortable and just um, know that, oh, you did, Karen? Okay, I will um, I will text you because I believe I still have yours, okay? Um, I'll, so I'll text you. Look, I know where you are. <laughs> um, anyway, oh, what I was saying is this journey, you know, I, I, I know I get on from day to day, and this may seem uh, pretty easy to um, get on and, and look at a verse and read. You know, I get lots of help. <laughs> I don't do this on my own. <laughs> and uh, I ask the Lord, and I just uh, sit quietly waiting for him to, to tell me and show me what it is he wants me to do. And that's why I say, those of you that always say that you don't have any artistic bone in your body, yes, you do. You come from the creator. He formed and made us like himself. And so you would be surprised at what um, you come up with, really. 
Um, but at any rate, when there are times where it seems like um, there is nothing, there is maybe no word or maybe you have no idea, it's okay. Do not get upset about that. Do not, um, you know, uh, give up even, okay? Um, it, it, it's all right. I had been, and this is for those who are new to Bible art journaling. Uh, this is really, this, this whole program is really an introduction as to what you can do when you decide to do some creative, what I'm calling creative worship and using your talents and gifts and um, the arts <laughs> to express God's word. And uh, you're using both sides of the brain. And if you remember when you were in grade school, learning how to read, learning how to color, especially in the primary uh, grades, K, one, two, and even as far as three, um, there were coloring sheets you had. Um, you, when, when we were doing our addition, there would be circles. There would be two circles here and three circles there. And you'd color one here and color two there. And then add the two that you colored. And you, you know what I'm saying? So we used art in order to teach and learn. And the visual was important. Somewhere down the line, as we got older, someone decided that that was not needed anymore. Well, I don't believe that. <laughs> I think the coloring thing is still a, a great way to um, learn and um, receive a visual as to what you are um, being taught or what you are studying, okay? Um, you know, color is all around us. God did that on purpose. You don't miss it. He did it on purpose. And um, and so I'm saying that it is still uh, important now, I do believe. And and so I, I have been enjoying, this is my fourth Bible, and I have been enjoying doing Bible art journaling, and it has opened up um, the Bible in a different way for me and allowing me to connect the dots to some things. And so I highly recommend this activity. I really, really do. And um, again, you know, if you're not wanting to take a Bible and, and do the artwork right straight into the Bible and scripture, then get a journal so that you can do it. And it doesn't have to be as large as the one that I'm, you know, that I'm using right here. It doesn't have to be this big. It could be a smaller one, okay? And, um, or if you don't want to um, <clears throat> do any drawing, then print something off. Print print some artwork, something for you to color and, and put a book together and write down these verses that the Lord presents to us from, from day to day, okay? All right, and I'm just encouraging you all this morning. I am, <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to wait to see where God wants us to go. All right, and because uh, again, I, I don't like to try to do anything without um, his leading and direction. All right, so those of you that are new, and um, this is a journaling Bible. Again, you don't have to have one, but it's nice if you do. A journaling Bible has wide margins on either side, and it um, <clears throat> some of them have lines, some of them are blank on the sides, uh, and some will have maybe some pictures or graphics or something for you to color. Um, you know, you're writing prayer requests or a testimony. Maybe you're writing a, a song the Lord has given you or, um, you know, you like a nice scripture that's over here and you want to jot that one down. Uh, maybe you're reading a book and a scripture that pops up in the book, you know, goes right with. So you want to reference the book. You know, um, however, you know, maybe the Lord is just talking. Maybe you just want to write down a prayer, a prayer of thanks, a, something, you know, <laughs> this is the space where you can do all of that. Um, no need for another notebook to take your notes. You can write it right down here in your Bible and have it there forever. Okay. 
And there are a lot of different products and things that they have now on the market to accommodate writing on these very thin Bible sheets. So, you know, if you wanted to use a permanent pen, um, you know, sometimes when you lay that pen down, it will spread, the ink will spread, and then it'll bleed, and, and then it'll, you know, you can see it over on the other side where they have lots of products now that will not do that. And so... Um, you know, there's all kinds of, uh, of things that you can use. And so what I've been doing is trying to demonstrate that, but I'm an artist. I'm a Bible art journalist, which is different than just a journalist. Journalist is just writing an artist. I'm painting or I'm coloring. And as you can see, I, I, I stay, you know, <laughs> I will use the whole page. I don't always stay in the margins. Some artists stay in the margins and they actually um, try their best not to cover up the words of the of the Bible or the scripture. I don't really have that. Um, <laughs> I don't I don't really do that. I don't I don't mind covering up the verse that I am journaling is the one that I am focused on and uh, or the one that is speaking to me for that particular time. And, uh, and then too, I, I have other Bibles that I study out of. And so I'm okay with covering up the words. Okay. Um, and so I, I'm using, uh, like this is acrylic paint and marker and, uh, but I have colored pencils, gel pens, ink tints, uh, pencils, gelatos, um, you know, watercolor, um, I'm using it all. And I always say test out all your products at the back of your Bible so that you know how they behave and respond on these very thin Bible sheets. And not all Bible sheets are the same. And that's why I say with every Bible that you get, you make sure you test it first. Um, because, um, I noticed my first Bible, I didn't really have any problem with any of the watercolors and things. Um, but uh, a few of the Bibles that um, I have, there's a couple of colors that really bleed through and you can see it. Um, and uh, But I'm all right with it. I, You know, it brings my Bible some character. You see? <laughs> so I don't... I don't mind that so much. And I can always take some acrylic paint and color or cover that up. So that's not a big deal to me. It shouldn't be a big deal to you either, okay? Um, and so I'm demonstrating these things or showing you these things so that you can be encouraged to, um, you know, do some of this on your own. Good morning, Ruth. How are you? And when you don't use it, you lose it. Are you talking about the phone number, Karen? <laughs> oh, yes. Let's see. I'm kind of going through to see if I've missed anybody's uh, name this morning. I hope I haven't. You know I like saying good morning to folk. <laughs> All right, so this is Bible art journaling for me. I'll take a verse, I'll take a um, you know, passage or chapter or story, and then I'm trying to do something artistic on the page, okay? And <clears throat> when I first began, I was using someone else's devotional, and um, I would, you know, read the devotional, and then um pick a verse out of the devotional that they were referencing and then uh come to my bible and then do something artistic but here of late i have just been allowing life and its circumstances and things that are happening in the world or um you know just like with the eggs <laughs> And I just, you know, that we, the those prayer eggs, and I just allow that to kind of dictate what I'm going to be doing. And we've been doing themes, and I love that because um, that really helps to bring a lot of the scriptures and things 
um, to the forefront. You know, I'll, I'll think about, uh, like, for instance, I loved the uh, theme we did on doors. Um, and I don't know, maybe I need to revisit that again because <laughs> I'm sure there's more stories uh, where a door is present. And I say all the time, you know, um, there are things that happen or go on in our in our Bibles or uh, there are um, little small gems, I say, sometimes that are hidden in the stories when we don't really, uh, you know, sometimes we just don't pay attention to it, you know, uh, but it's been there all along. And uh, anyway, uh you know, I'll do a theme. And so that's what we will focus on for the week. And so like last week, we focused on prayer, intercessory prayer, and talked about various uh, individuals in the Bible that prayed for uh, one another. And um, it was just a great lesson. Great, great lesson. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> so that's Bible art journaling for me. Okay. And... Um, And, and this is just kind of what I've been, been led to do. And it all began uh, with us having to move here uh, in, the, in the house with my mother-in-law to, you know, to take care of her. Um, and uh, I did not have a place really to paint. And we were kind of living on top of her things. And, um, and so... And I had an art show to do. <laughs> and so I said, Lord, what am I going to do? And he led me to art, uh, Bible art journaling. And um, it's been almost three years now, I'm guessing. And uh, I, I, I love it. I love it. And maybe that's where we need to go today. Talking about being led. How about that? Hmm? Maybe so. And see, this is that I'm telling you, that's how it goes for me. And, I, you know, I, I, I was very close to panicking because I'm saying I don't like getting up here on Facebook and not have anything solid to share. <laughs> and, I, and I promised myself and I promised God I would not do that. Um, but I think it's good for you all to see that sometimes it does not always come immediately, but it does not mean that God does not have something for you. Sometimes he, I think he likes to be chased, you know? It's just like, you know, boyfriend or husband, wife, and, <laughs> and you are, you don't make it so easy all the time. I think God likes to be chased. <laughs> He wants us looking after him and seeking after him. Amen. All right. So um, I was just talking about how he leads me or how he has led me to Bible art journaling and how it goes, the process for me. Um, a verse, um, and it's a familiar one to us. <clears throat> um, in Psalm where he talks about he leads me. Hmm? And um, he actually says it twice in this, all right? The good shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I have what I need. <laughs> he lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He renews my life. He leads me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even when I go through the darkest valley, I fear no danger, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Only goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord as long as I live. Amen. You notice he's got that word, leads me a couple of times. And so 
I don't know, maybe that's where we can go today, huh? And <clears throat> I know at times, especially when we get into some very testy situations, <laughs> that um, we don't think the Lord is actually leading. You didn't mean to lead me here, Lord, did you? <laughs> you didn't intend for me to have to go through this. You didn't intend for this to happen. Surely you did not lead me to this. Hmm? And I'm reminded of the verse that we um, took a look at um, last week where um, Jesus is actually telling uh, Peter that, you know, Satan has asked to sift you as wheat. And it, it just, it reminds me that he cannot do anything to us without the permission of God. Isn't that wonderful? And so, really, we don't have anything to fear. God is weighing everything out. And uh, he's saying, okay, Adrian can handle this today. Adrian can take care of this. Um, you know, she's going to be all right. <laughs> I know sometimes it doesn't seem that way. I know. And I get it. I really do. All right. So I, I, um, I had a couple of ideas for this Psalms 23. But I think um, I think I'm going to wait and hold off. And my hour is just about up anyway. Um, I think I'm going to wait on this because I've got a couple of other ideas or something that I think um, or direction that I might go. <laughs> but this is a great start. Um, we know this verse, Psalms 23, and um, or chapter. And division rather these are divisions <laughs> okay and um, you know maybe we can kind of just dwell on on this for today um, I did our project on this a long time ago on canvas and um, I don't know maybe it's something that I can incorporate in this but it requires a lot of drawing so and I don't like to uh, you know sometimes I like to cheat and have the drawing done before I do the artwork <laughs> okay so anyway uh, I think I'm going to put a pin in it today and it, hey it just it goes like that sometimes don't be upset you all <laughs> All right, and again, if you're wanting your name to be placed on my uh, prayer eggs, I will be more than happy to add you to it. And this is getting nice and dry. I'll take my blow dryer. And there's some areas where I'll need to put a little bit more um, of that um, gel. I've seen this spot here and uh, this right here I missed. So I'll put some more on there and blow it dry real good. And then we'll add um, we'll add the names on the list, okay? And um, that's fun. I I enjoy that. And this is gonna be a great uh, memory for me. And uh, and every time I look at it, I'll be uh, remembering you all again in prayer, huh? They don't expire or anything. Isn't that great? <laughs> they don't expire. God still hears them and he remembers and uh, since he knows the beginning to the end, he already knows what we're going to pray and ask for. And uh, scripture says that before we could ask, he's already answered. Amen. That's a great promise. All right, you all, I'm gone. I'm actually going to get off before eight o'clock, Ruth, before you say blessings. <laughs> All right, and tomorrow we'll be back and uh, we'll see what the Lord has for us on tomorrow, all right? And uh, may God bless you and may your journey be sweet and uh, we'll see you next time, all right? Bye-bye.